Hi, everybody. Welcome. So usually on Classroom Book of the Week, I feature one book in a week. But this week, I wanted to feature the Weathering and Erosion text set that I put together over the summer. It has 13 different texts in it, and I've linked to all of them uh, in the entry below. But I just wanted to give you a little taste of what's in the text set. So a text set is a basket of books. You're probably thinking I have tons of books and baskets. I don't need another one. But what's different is this text set also has activities that students can do in their science notebooks. So when they finish early and they ask you, what can I do next? You can simply point them in the direction of this weathering and erosion text set. So the first book I'm going to talk about briefly is Notable Notebooks, Scientists and Their Writings. And this is a perfect book to get your students interested in doing activities in their science notebook because it features the science notebooks of famous scientists throughout times. And these scientists represent uh, both genders as well as uh, several different uh, ethnicities. One of the scientists that this book features is Beatrix Potter. And one thing I did not know until I had read this book was that she actually drew pictures of rocks in her um, notebook. So that's a perfect lead in into weathering and erosion. And it's probably a fact that most students don't know about Beatrix Potter if they're even familiar with her in the first place. So here's an example of an activity that's in the text set that students can do. This one is directly related to notable notebooks. So there are sentence frames students can answer, and then they are asked to create their own sentence frame. But as we know, not all students like to write. So another option, this one is with Jason Chin's Grand Canyon, is to create a die cut in their science notebook. So no writing is involved, they can do art instead. You may be thinking that's fine, but some of my students can't read Jason Chin's Grand Canyon. Well, that's, that's okay. They can listen to Matthew Winter's podcast and hear Jason Chin being interviewed, and then they can draft an email to Jason Chin based on the podcast. And some of the activities that go along with this text set, they're just plain fun. So students can play the National Park memory card game, and then after they found 10 pairs, they can record the information about the national parks uh, in the accompanying matrix. So if I've piqued your interest and you're looking to make your job easier this year, please click on the link below and it will take you to the links for the tech set and all of the uh, activities that accompany it. Thank you so much.